Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure your WordPress website to send email without a plugin. Now this is slightly technical, but don't you worry, I'm gonna walk you through every step of the way. And we're gonna start out here with a demonstration. So this is the WordPress website we're gonna be working with. It's tonyflorida.com. And right now I do actually have a WordPress plugin to send email. It's called WP Mail SMTP. And I just came in here and set up a couple options. Um, I'm actually using Gmail to um, route my emails and check my emails. So if you wanna learn how to do that, I'll have another video linked uh, up at the top or in the description or at the end of this video. Um, but what I wanna do here is demonstrate how this actually works. So everything's configured for that, it's working. Let's send a test email in my contact form and this is the contact form seven plugin. So I'm gonna send it from Tony. Uh, we'll use my Gmail, Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. We'll just say, hello, Tony. Okay, let's, um, let's make this window small enough so we can see the inbox. And we're gonna click here to send me your message. And that should pretty much right away pop up over here and it does. So that is proof that this configuration is working, right? But when we disable that plugin, the WP Mail SMTP plugin, which we're gonna do right now, we will no longer be able to send email. That's because WordPress doesn't know how to or like where to, what, what configuration to use to send the email. So let's just demonstrate that right now. We'll go back to the contact form and we'll do the same thing. So Tony Florida, we'll send it from the same email, Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. This won't send. Okay, so, oops, we got the we got the email over here from before. Now, if we send this, it's gonna give us like a false positive that the email was sent, but we don't actually see it show up. And again, that's because we don't have any configuration settings for the SMTP server. Okay, so but that's that's what this video is about. It's gonna show you how to do that without the use of the plugin or any other plugin for that matter. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, there's two files that we're gonna edit, the wp-config PHP file and the functions.php file. So let's start with the wp-config PHP file. And there's a couple different ways you can edit it. Probably the most easiest, most easiest, the easiest way is uh, through FTP. If you have some type of FTP file manager, you can also SSH in. Um, I'm gonna use the FTP file manager that's built into WPX hosting, which is my hosting provider. And I have that open over here in this window. So let's make this window big and here it is. So this is the public HTML directory for tonyflorida.com. And in here you'll find a wp-config.php file. And this is what we're gonna to wanna to edit. So down here, right above the that's all, stop editing, happy blogging, we're gonna put in some, uh, we're gonna define some variables. And this is where it gets slightly technical, um, but let me just walk you through it so it makes sense. So I'm gonna paste these in here. And this, these, these down here are just variables. They're just PHP variables, which are defining my credentials for accessing my email server. So um, username, password, host, from email, the, the name that I actually wanna show up on my email, like from Tony Florida, um, the port and the type of security to use. It's either like SSL or TLS. Um, and then the authorization, we want that to be true. That's just like we're requiring those credentials. So for you, um, this information will vary. Um, hopefully you'll have some understanding of where to get that information from, but this is my information that I will be using. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and save this file. And that's good. Now we're gonna use these variables in the functions.php file uh, next. So let's go ahead and go out of this. We'll make that half screen again, bring this one full screen. And we can edit the functions.php file in our WordPress admin dashboard under appearance in theme editor. Now, ah, uh, okay, this is a little bit to explain. You can, okay, let me just show you. This is my theme, it's the generate press theme. And um, you can come in here and find a, a file in here called functions.php. And for some reason I'm not seeing, oh, here, it's right here, the second thing. Um, you can come in here and scroll down to the bottom and 
add the following code that we're going to be working with. And that's, that's, it's okay. It's not recommended because you can potentially screw some stuff up. Um, what I do recommend is to install a child theme for whatever theme you're using and then put that information in the functions.php file. So if you don't have a child theme, that's okay. You can put it in here, but um, I'm going to put it in my child theme because that's better practice to do that. So I'm in my child theme here and I'm in my theme functions file. And what I'm going to do is use my cheat sheet over here again to get some code. And I'm just going to paste that code right here at the bottom. So this is actually the core of this video. This is what's actually going to send, use those configuration options that we just defined to send email. So um, without getting too technical, this is just, there, basically right now there is a function in WordPress somewhere that's called PHP mailer in it. And we're going to, override that with our own custom function called my PHP mailer example. You can call that whatever you want. Um, and here's the definition for that function, my PHP mailer example. Um, and basically all we're doing is associating our variables right here on the right hand side that we define in our WP config file with the PHP mailers expected uh, values. So it's that simple. And honestly, we could have and this is again, bad practice, but we could have just put in our host name, our port, our username, our password directly in here, but it's better to have them separate it out for security purposes in the WP config file. So anyway, enough talking, let's update this file. And at this point, we should have done everything that we need to in order to successfully send an email from that contact form again. So let's go back into our website, go to the contact form, we will make this uh, half screen again. We'll go back to our inbox here and let's send another email. So let's do Tony Florida, the same email, Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. And this one will work now. Okay. So we'll come down here, click to send me your message. And this time it's actually going to work and we'll get that, uh, success message and there we go so this is the the email um from tony florida subject and this one will work now there you go so that's it that is how um to set up gmail or not set up gmail set up email from within wordpress without a plugin um please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i'll do my best to help you out and if you got any value out of this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.